It is December and that means one thing on campus, the placement season is underway. This year, it has started with a bang. The IITs are once again in the spotlight and IIT is an Indian Institute of Technology. These are India's pre premier institutions for engineering students and recruitment numbers here are breaking records. IIT Kanpur is making headlines. It saw the highest number of offers made on day one of campus recruitment. Global firms are making a comeback and startups are hiring in bigger numbers. Even core engineering roles are seeing a revival and that's perhaps the biggest takeaway. After a year of tech layoffs and AI-induced anxiety, top talent is still finding placement. They remain in demand. The jobs have not disappeared. They have just evolved. Here's a report. It's that time of the year when job offers roll in and the IITs dominate headlines. But this year, the story is different. The placement season hasn't just started well, it's off to a record-breaking start. At IIT Kanpur, the numbers speak for themselves. On day one alone, 672 offers were made. That's the highest ever opening tally for the campus and a 16% jump from last year. For a student body preparing for job uncertainty, this is a big morale boost. Offers are also coming in early. By the end of the first day, over 500 students had been placed. That includes roles across software, analytics, consulting, and core engineering. And many of them were picked up by global giants. Big brands recruiting on campus, Airbus, SAP, HSBC, BlackRock, Qualcomm, and Accenture. Together, more than 250 companies have already participated at IIT Kanpur, and that number is set to rise. PPOs, or pre-placement offers, have seen a sharp jump. This year, IIT Kanpur recorded 253 PPOs. That's a 27% rise from last year. The reason? Internships are translating into full-time jobs. Firms are hiring students they've already trained. It's saving time and reducing hiring risk. Meanwhile, at IIT Bombay, another headline grabbed attention. A company named Da Vinci made an offer worth 1.48 crore rupees. That's roughly $160,000. This is one of the highest salary packages this year. It's not just one off either. More high paying roles are emerging in AI, data science, and quant research. So, what roles are in demand? The data is clear. Software and core developer roles are leading. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are big draws. UI, UX and design roles are less visible this year. Companies want coders, people who can work with data and build with new technology. International placements have also started early. Nine global offers have already been confirmed at IIT Kanpur. More are expected in phase two. Students say it's not just about the pay, it's about the kind of work on offer and the confidence that comes with being industry ready. This placement season is also different because of the context. Over the last year, headlines have been dominated by layoffs, especially in tech, and fears around AI replacing jobs. But the early signs from IITs are reassuring. Demand for top-tier talent still exists, and companies are willing to pay for it. Startups are also hiring again. In 2023, many were cautious. This year, they're back in larger numbers. Core companies are also increasing their hiring. That's helping diversify job profiles. So it's not just software anymore. Mechanical, electrical, and civil engineering graduates are also in demand. The placement season has just begun. 
but the tone is already set. If this momentum continues, IITs across the country will see strong recruitment. For India's engineering graduates, this is a sign of hope, that the job market is shifting, not shrinking, that there's space for AI-ready talent, and that with the right skills, young professionals can still shape their own future. I rose from the army with medals on my chest. I spoke of freedom from colonial chains, but I tightened my own. I filled prisons with ghosts. Nearly half a million people were butchered under my rule, and I trusted only my paranoia. I gave myself grand titles. I claimed to be Africa's strongman. History calls me something else, the dictator. Who am I?